is up welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome thank you so much for joining me today as you guys can see and as you guys can tell by the title in today's video I'm bringing you guys some new hair I'm bringing you guys this 360 lace wigs from AF sister wigs or afsisterwigs.com this hair came pre coated and pre dyed just like this I did go ahead and just pluck the hairline a little bit switched up the parting and added some bouncy curls to the wig but that was about it so if you guys want to learn a little bit more about this wig see how I styled it installed it in a little bit of a review then just keep on watching as always you guys know I will have this wig the company any coupon codes I have all linked down below in the description box as well as the exact specs on this wig and all of the information in case you're interested so be sure to check the description box down below if you guys want you can follow me over on Instagram that's the only other social media platform that I have so if you guys want to connect with me a little bit more you guys can go ahead and follow me over there I'll have it linked down below as well but we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the video I'm first gonna start with like the unboxing and packaging of this wig so as you guys can see this wig came in this black box that just says AF sister wigs on it in some like gold foiling the entire box is black and it just slides open and you can see the wig inside they also included some wig caps as well as a little hair tie that had a little decoration on it and then they also included the adjustable band that's gonna go inside the hair had a hairnet around it and also had the tissue paper inside to help kind of keep its shape and as you guys can see, this wig is beautiful. The lace quality is really nice. And the hair itself is really, really soft and really, really beautiful. Has a lot of movement and bounce to it. You guys can see the cap construction. So like I mentioned, this is a 360 lace wig. So this wig is made for you to be able to customize it and wear it a little bit more versatile. You can put it in updos and just do different things with the hair. And the wig is going to perform and look a little bit more natural. There are normal wefts and tracks the center of the wig and this wig does have combs as you guys can see in the front on the sides as well as one in the back there are also adjustable straps in the back and like I mentioned it does have that adjustable band that you can just clip in now because this wig is brown and blonde and it's not like a black root to blonde wig I did not leave any of my hair out with this installation process and with this wig so I did want the hairline to look a little more natural so that I could do like baby hairs and different styles with the wig so I am gonna go ahead and actually pluck the hairline a little bit I did go ahead and put the wig on my wig head and don't mind her I know she looks really ugly I did her makeup like years 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 ago and she just looks really crazy but that's besides the point the hairline was pretty natural off the bat but I just wanted to like I mentioned tweeze a little bit more I added some water and I just went ahead and plucked a bunch all along the hairline as well as in the part now initially I did install this wig as a middle part so I am going ahead and plucking even in the parting and everything but you guys will see I end up switching it to a side part so you can see what it looks like when it's not plucked and what it looks like when it is plucked it definitely made a difference in my opinion there's so many videos on YouTube you can see how to do this method a little bit more there's different ways of doing it but it's basically just taking out and thinning of the hair around the hairline so that it can look a little bit more natural now I did go ahead and just braid my hair down underneath the wig and install this wig with some got to be glue again if you guys want to see this process a little bit more in depth I will link some of my wig installation videos down below but you guys can also just look up on YouTube got to be glue installation method or how to glue down your wigs with got to be glue and there are so many videos here on YouTube and then I did go ahead and just add some baby hairs to the wig and to the hairline I do this with all of my wigs all of the time I do this with my natural hair or if I'm wearing extensions I always wear baby hairs. so I went ahead and added some baby hairs along the hairline and as you guys can see I think that the wig looks pretty good off the bat just from installing it with the got to be glue I'm gonna go ahead and take some eyeshadow and add some eyeshadow powder to the lace to just kind of hide and mimic the color a little bit better I mixed these two shades together initially and they actually didn't really look too good so I ended up actually finding a different powder that I am gonna go ahead and add in later that's gonna match a little bit better to my skin tone and look like my scalp as you guys can see now and then I am gonna go ahead and just add some layers in the front of the hair and 
curl the wig and go over it with the flat iron now even though the wig is straight when you go over it with the flat iron it just kind of adds a little bit more of a sheen to the hair and makes the hair a little bit more smooth and then I am going ahead and just using the flat iron to add some barrel curls all over the hair and all over the wig Initially I did leave it as a middle part, but then I kind of felt like it would look better as a side part when I was playing with the hair. So I am going to go ahead and be taking a comb and some mousse and I'm going to be redefining and reshaping a part. And then again, I'm going to be repeating that same step and adding in some eyeshadow to the parting as well. And then I am just going to set everything with some clips and a scarf to hold everything into place. And I just thought this would look really, really pretty with this hair color. So I wanted to go ahead and just add some curls. And I've been loving this style ever since. I've just been kind of touching up the curls day to day because I just think it looks so, so beautiful. And then that was basically all I did to this wig to style it and to get it to look like this. All of those clips that I just showed were filmed about four days ago when I freshly installed the wig. I have been wearing the wig for about four days now and like I mentioned I've just been touching up these curls day to day with my straightener. I will say that this wig definitely holds a curl um, as you guys can see and as you saw in the video when I curled the hair it definitely creates a curl, holds a curl but by the end of the night and the end of the day you're kind of going to have some waves and by the next day the hair is like basically completely straight except for it kind of just looks a little bit like bumped at the ends which is not really a problem because I do think it holds a curl like it lasts all throughout the day and it kind of just falls really nicely so I don't mind that but it's not one of those wigs that like if you curl it today it's gonna have curls for like a few days so just keep that in mind I mean I did use a little bit of a finishing spray a light finishing spray and not like a hairspray so I'm sure if you also use a hairspray or add some holding products that might change that as well but that's not really like a problem for me I did just want to go ahead and mention that as far as a review as I mentioned I've only been wearing the hair for four days but I feel like it's been long enough to kind of give you guys a little bit of an opinion on it I usually film this part of the videos the same day as I do my installation process so normally I'm giving you guys a little bit of like an initial review but I did go ahead and wear the hair for a few days so I can speak on it a little bit I will say that I have been experiencing the tiniest bit of shedding nothing too crazy like it'll be one or two strands here and there but I am running my fingers through the hair and playing with the hair all day but it'll be like a few times throughout the day I might notice like a strand here or there 
but I also find that it's usually a blonde strand so I feel like that has something to do with the fact also that this hair has just been processed and dyed and always keep in mind especially with that with like the whole shedding thing normal hair sheds natural hair sheds it's kind of just like a thing but obviously we don't want wigs and we don't want to put wigs on our head that are just gonna be shedding everywhere and everywhere you walk you're gonna have the hair falling out it's definitely nothing too alarming it's honestly like probably the same amount of natural shedding I don't really get any tangling this hair is really really soft but again I have been wearing the hair in these curls so I'm not completely like raking or running my fingers all the way through the hair all the time but like I mentioned I have been like doing this and moving the hair around and playing with the hair and touching the hair and I'm not experiencing any tangling and at the end of the night or the next morning when I'm redoing the hair touching it up or if I go to just like put the hair in a ponytail or anything it's not like tangling or knots anywhere in the hair so that is really good I will say that for this hair being a bleached and clearly processed wig and hair um, it is extremely extremely soft but I also will say that I have noticed putting heat to the hair and straightening it for the last few days that sometimes like the next morning like today the hair was looking a little bit dry I have like a Aussie kind of like hair repair spray like it just adds like moisture and nourishment to your hair I use it on my natural hair and I sprayed this wig with it just a little bit at the ends and then I did that in the morning, um, but I just curled my hair like about an hour ago, and as you guys can see, the hair is looking good. It's looking like bouncy and healthy and beautiful. I'm not necessarily stating these as cons. I'm just more sharing my experience with this hair with you so you can know what to expect if you want to try it out, but it hasn't really given me any problems. I don't really, can't really think of anything like alarming. Um, to say I really like this lace and the wig itself and how it was made the wig cap fit really nice on my head it fits really snug I did tighten the elastic band so that it does fit snug for me and the adjustable band in the back fits really snug and flat as you guys can see it is a 360 lace wig and it just falls and stays down a little bit better in the back so I have been like throwing up the hair into a ponytail like throughout the day taking it back down and and this hair just performs really nicely and wears really nicely so I have been really happy with it let me know what you guys think down below let me know if you like this color on me I have really been liking it and I've gotten so many compliments from my friends and family from this hair and wearing this hair the last few days I definitely love this look and think it was like a fun little switch up for spring and summer and I definitely think it would look flattering on so many different skin tones especially like darker skin tones because this chocolate brown would just look so good like melting into different skin oh my gosh don't get me started if you guys try out this wig send me your pictures because I love this color and I also like how it's not like yellowy it's like the perfect golden but blonde but still honey but not yellow you know what I mean like it just looks really good I just love this color I love that I didn't have to dye this wig at all and it just looks like this and I'm overall really happy with how this wig has been maintaining and holding up like I mentioned I will have everything linked down below in the description box for you guys to check out the specs on this wig the link to it any coupon codes that I have so you guys can save some money at checkout and I'll also have my Instagram link down below as well in case you guys want to follow me over there I believe that is everything that I have to share with you guys in today's video if you made it to the end of the video I love you so much thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one Mwah. bye guys